Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and what you're about to witness is probably the biggest hole ever in PC game collecting. Um, I went to a guy that called me because his father had passed away. His father was a PC collector and he asked me if I wanted to buy his father's collection. So I said yes and I was expecting 12 banana boxes full of PC games. When I got there it ended up to be 30 boxes full. It took me quite a while to sift through the games and find out everything that was worthwhile and just throw away the rest or dump them and it was over a thousand games that got dumped basically because they were all disc only or really really crappy stuff. The stuff you're gonna see in this video is all the good stuff and we're gonna start small. So first CD cases then DVD cases and ending up with big boxes. Let's go through this and see what's in here. I'm not going to name them all because simply it's just too much. I'm just going to name some of the special ones there. So Descent 3 and um, that's one of the Flight Descent games which I played quite a lot as a kid but they were really hard. They were quite hard to figure out where you were. Some, a lot of Star Trek and Star Wars games you'll see in here. Quake, Micro Machines V3, one of my favorite Micro Machines games. Some more Star Wars stuff. Police Quest, uh, pretty much all the Police Quest games are in here. Sorry for a bit of the glare, but I have to film this from hand because it's basically too big to put in front of my stand and uh, if I film it from hand we get some glare once in a while. Chrono Master, quite a rare adventure game. King's Quest 6, a lot of King's Quest games in here. Resident Evil 1, Realms of Arcadia, Lost Vikings. It's actually part 2, I played part 1 as a kid, never played part 2. <laughs> then we have Goblin's Quest 3. And this one is a paper version of William Shatner's Tech War, Gabriel Knight, and the Daedalus Encounter. So that was the first box. Box 2 and we're still at CD Case Games. Up here is my favorite game in the Larry series. Laser Suit Larry 7 Law for Sale. Loved this game. So top again. By the way, if this is going too fast for you, just pause the video and check it out on your own pace to see all the titles. I hope I'm filming this slow enough with high enough resolution to give you all the titles. There you have Magic Candle, which is quite a rare RPG. Full Throttle, which is of course a great uh, adventure game by um, LucasArts. A studio that just got killed by Disney. Just, uh, just today, I believe. That gives you an idea of when this video is being filmed. Command & Conquer games, a lot of those are in here. And not my favorite RTSs, but still a great series of RTS games. Hexen, Lighthouse, Creatures, Mortal Kombat 3, which is my favorite Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Up there in the dark was SimCity 3000, by the way. File Under X, which is an unofficial X-Files expansion. Again, sorry for a bit of the glare here. Elder Scrolls 3 Tribunal is there. Wow, this is getting really glary. Let's move the box a bit. Let's do this part again. Half-Life Generation, there you see. Elder Scrolls Tribunal. MDK, Murder, Dead, Kill. And this is the last row of this box. Torrent's Passage, made by the same guy as the Leisure Suit Larry games. Red Jack Revenge of the Brethren, which is in here about 10 times probably. So that was the last box of CD cased games. So stepping it up a notch in size, we're up to the DVD cased games. Clive Barker's Undying and Shadows of Undrin Tide, which is a Neverwinter Nights expansion. Black and White, Command and Conquer Red Alert 2, which I'm keeping because I don't have that one. Some Lord of the Rings games, Age of Empires, Gothic 3 over there, Mortal Kombat again, Warcraft 2 Battle.net edition, which I played an incredible amount of time. I love that game. Kingpin Life of Crime, got the big box version of that for my for my own collection. And um, that was actually one of the first, or the first FPS that I played online. 
So this was the first box of DVD cased games. Next box. You see Sim Collection, Zen Far, Divine Divinity, Alone in the Dark, New Nightmare, which is I believe not the best part of the series. Dark Messiah, Might and Magic, Enter the Matrix, which I started and finished in about three hours, I believe. Back when the Matrix, when the second Matrix film came out. The game wasn't that bad, but it wasn't really long. It was really short and easy. Fear, which actually kind of made me shit my pants the first time I played it. And Civilization 4, which is, like I said before, not my type of game, but I do respect the quality it has. I was thinking maybe I should do a raffle. The first one to count every single game in here and tell me exactly how many PC games I bought in this lot will get a free game. Well, if you're up to the challenge, I can give you a free game for that. Because I got plenty here, like as you can see. Some more SimCity games, Railroad Tycoon games, which are in here quite a lot as well. Also a lot of flight simulators, by the way. Really not my type of game, but there's a really strong crowd for that. And like I said, I already dumped over a thousand incomplete slash shitty games in this lot. You're only seeing the good stuff. Or yeah, well good, at least decent stuff. Pinball Construction Kid. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe I kind of played that as a kid, just trying to make pinball uh, cabinets, but then failing and making a jam, etc. But I think that was an even older DOS version. Dark Seed, a game I'm still looking to get big box. Same with Fallout 2. So that's another box down. Last box of non big box PC games. So let's see what we got over here. Some Sims games Battlefield, Devil May Cry. Here we have DTM, another Warcraft, Command and Conquer Generals. Love this game. Splinter Cell, also love those. First two parts were really good. Didn't finish the third one. Counter Strike, which I hated because I was a Medal of Honor player, and when playing Medal of Honor, I was good, and when playing Counter Strike, I sucked. So I didn't like it. So, like I said, this was the last box of a DVD case game, so now it's time to get big boxes. Enough with all the small box madness, it's time for the big boys to come out and play. So this is the first small bunch of 15 banana boxes full of big box games. So sit tight, get wrap yourself something to drink and some popcorn because this is going to take a while. This is Fly Lauda and I actually had to read the box to find out what it is. But it's a Microsoft Flight Simulator add-on or expansion to play Lauda Air, which is uh, something Nikki Lauda, which is a famous uh, race driver. It was his airline or is his airline. I had never heard of it before, but I do know that these expansions can be extremely rare and extremely valuable. So I was quite happy to find this in the lot. Then Centurion, Defender of Rome, Aircraft and Adventure Factory, also a Microsoft Flight Simulator expansion. Dragon Lore 2, Heart of the Dragon Man, Dark Colony, Secrets of the Luxor and Persian Wars. Mist 3 Exile. Hesperian Wars. Never heard of that before, but when I look at the back of the box, it seems to be some sort of Warcraft RTS like kind of game, but really, really, really top down um, uh, view. So, not a little bit slanted from the side, but really top down. Battle Isle, the Andosia Wars, Homeworld Cataclysm, Task Force 1942, and this box is really heavy, so let's see what's in here. Uh, floppies. Oh, actually doesn't say, yeah it does, 3.5 inch floppies, that's probably why it's so heavy. And then uh, Ridders van de Ronde Tafel, which is uh, Arthur's Knights from the Round Table. Brain Food Games 2, which has Shanghai, Chess Master, You Don't Know Jack, Trivial Pursuit, Creatures and Boggle. You Don't Know Jack is actually quite a rare PlayStation 1 game, if you happen to find that. Then Racing Madness, which has Motocross Madness, which was a friend of mine's favorite game on the PC. Industry Giant, this is Sign of the Sun, which is, I believe, in the series of Call of Cthulhu. Um, can't find it here, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, 
Shogo Mobile Armor Division Bigger is Better. City 2000 Combat Evil in London with a CD ROM adventure. Check this out. Doesn't this look really 90s? Bad FMV. Corny. Definitely worth trying out, right? And Desert Strike Return to the Gulf. Then something I've been dying to have in my collection for a long, long time. Microsoft Art Gallery. No, nah, not really. This is one of those boring uh, Encarta uh, thingies. So, maybe some people collect it, but I don't. Then Wrath of the Demon, which looks to be quite old, because if you check out the back, it shows some really old school graphics. The box has some wear, as you can see, it's bobbled up because of um, yeah water damage, probably. And it has uh, 3.5 inch floppies in it, which I love. Then Sierra Originals, Rama, Police Quest SWAT, and 3D Ultra Pinball. And here we have Sand Warriors, The Battle for the Sun Throne. Great title, by the way. And uh, Gene Wars by Bullfrog. On the right are a bunch of sealed games, but the unfortunate thing with these sealed games is that most of them are German. Actually, this one is multilingual, no respect. But Burn Cycle, this one is German. And this is actually one of the few games that were, came out originally on CDI and that was considered to be a good game. Then Subwar 2050 Underwater Com Combat Simulation Dreams to Reality, which I have in a PlayStation 1 version, I believe. Dreamweb, and this one is Y2K. And um, if I read the back of the box, it says that it's all about the Y2K bug and how it's going to mess up the world. Darth Vader on the front of the Star Wars Limited Edition Entertainment Utility. This is actually not a game, but just a bunch of uh, video files and sound files, etc. from the Star Wars games. Back in the day when Windows 3.11 was the only thing you could have and there was no internet to download that stuff. Crimson Wars Civilization Part 1. Hyperblade, sealed. Um, this is Davilex Greatest Hits 3D, which is probably a bunch of crappy games as usual from Davilex. And this one, this is amazing. This is Penthouse Select a Pet, which is um, just a bunch of photographs with a menu if you uh, read the back of the box. It's for adults only. It has gorgeous photographs. Not sure if it goes up to nude, haven't tried it out, but this is so amazing. It has here Panic Screen. So if you're playing this and uh, someone walks into the room you can press a button and probably goes to a Disney website or something like that. How cool is that? So we're at the end of box 3 now so that means 12 more to go. Clandestiny, Shockwave Assault and this is another one of those strange semi-erotic games. This is called Roommate Sarah. It's your dream girlfriend living in your computer and um, it doesn't show anything on the back of the box but what I get from the text is that it's um, if you were old enough, you remember those um, taskbar buddies. Those were little programs you could use and um, you would have a Santa Claus or anything on your taskbar. Oh wait, this flips open so you can see. No, nah, it doesn't show anything of the game. But um, yeah, you had this girl on your taskbar and she would just sit there and do stuff and you could click her and yeah. Why in the world would people buy that? Don't ask me, but apparently someone did. Crusader No Remorse. Then Compilation 3-in-1, Maximum Road Race, Millennia and Hellfire Zone. And this last one is Wordplay and this is also still sealed. It's one of the Philips game um, from the Genius series, which is kind of a learning games uh, series. The first bunch of Box 4, Tail and Soft's Eastern Front, Magic's Music Maker Jr. And I remember when I was a kid in about the last few years of... Uh, of um, how do you say that in English? Not middle school, but the one before that. Um, this was the bomb. You could just create your own music and just uh, cut and paste stuff and start making beats, etc. It turned out nothing, because usually it sucked ass what you made. But still, I spent a lot of hours playing Magic's Music Maker, and this is the junior version. Um, Chaos Control, also a CDI game originally. Madden Football Limited Edition, this is probably one of the first ones. And it's a CD-ROM version, and it's still for DOS, so so MS-DOS, so that's how old this Madden is. Then we have The Last Dynasty by Sierra, and Conqueror AD 1086 also by Sierra. Then we end up with a game that um, I actually didn't know I wanted until I saw it. This is Road Warrior Quarantine 2. And, again, as a kid, of course, um, 
I had a demo of this game and I remembered that from this screenshot and I had absolutely no clue what to do. The game was so complicated in, in, in controls that I had no idea where to go, what to do, how to win, etc. But you could shoot and you could drive and it looked really gritty, etc. And uh, I did play the demo quite often, so this is definitely ending up in my collection. Then the War in the Pacific Entertainment Puzzle Collection with a lot of puzzle games by Microsoft. 12 CD-ROMs Mega Pack. Let's see if there's anything good in there. Lemmings Chronicles and Dragon's Lair CD-ROM version. Nova Storm, Journeyman Project Turbo. This is Cyclones. Doesn't remember. Doesn't ring a bell for me, but it's this SSI game, which are usually quite good games. So a bunch of good games, a bunch of crappy ones. And the last two for this shot are Dark Rain 2 and Monaco Grand Prix Racing Simulation 2. Last four games of Box 4, Dark Light Conflict, FIFA 96, Project Eros, or Arrow Dollar, but I think it's Eros, and Lords, uh, Lands of Lore Throne of Chaos, which is Lands of Lore Part 1, and this is a re-released white label version. So if you're already getting tired of all these big box PC games, just quit, because we're not even halfway yet. Um, also, while recording, I have no clue how long this video is taking, so it might be that at some point this gets a cut and becomes a second video because it's so much. Back to the games. Malkari, Arabian Nights sealed. Looks to be a Prince of Persia knockoff. Clan Destiny, Nations UMS 2 at War, so Nations at War UMS 2 probably. This looks really old, Windows 3.11 style and uh, has floppies inside. Faust, Seven Games of the Soul and Panzer Commander World War II Tank Simulator. Nine The Last Resort with the monkey with the crown on its head on the front. Conquest Earth First Encounter. Raymond van Barneveld Elite Darts which is like the Dutch dart hero. Um, Knight's Chase Gift Gift of the Stars this is still sealed as well and this also has a PlayStation 2 release I believe. Don't think I have this on PlayStation 1 but on PlayStation 2. And then an, another SSI game which are usually war games and this is Soldiers at War. Um, doesn't look that old school so I think it's with a CD-ROM. Yeah, it is with a CD-ROM. The next bunch shows that even though I consider myself at least a bit uh, experienced with PC game collecting and more experienced than most there are still a lot of games out there that I never heard of before like this one hyperspeed alien combat and role-playing adventure free original light speed clusters yeah no clue what that is but it has them so this is a big box really old game as you can see here at the gameplay and I think I might keep this then tribes star siege mummy tomb of the pharaoh Saber Ace 1944 Across the Rhine and Ultra Fighters. The Raven Project is, I believe, a shoot 'em up that's also released on PlayStation 1, and on PlayStation 1 it's quite rare, so this PC version might be rare as well. Ripper with Christopher Walken. Oh, see on the back of the box. Oh, there you have him. And the other one looks like Seth Green, but I don't think it is Seth Green. This looks to be an FMV game. Can't say that I've seen it before. Outpost 2, Divided Destiny. Space Box by Sierra. Xeno Bots and Silent Thunder 810 Tank Killer 2. Some more SSI strategy games and uh, like I said most of these are war games. Second Front, Germany Turns East. Stellar Crusade, which actually doesn't look like a war game. This looks to be some kind of space simulator. Yeah, looks quite complicated. Complicated. Um, Western Front Liberation of Europe. Sacrifice. Battle Isle 2. Atlantis 2. And World Spiral Lyoth. Die by the Sword. Comanche 2, which is a helicopter game. Merlin's Apprentice, which is a Philips game, so it probably has a CDI release as well. Can't really say that I've seen it. Rage of Mages, Frankenstein, Frankenstein through the eyes of the monster, and this game is with Tim Curry. And look at the guy's face. Do you remember him from something? 
Yeah, he's the obnoxious guy from Home Alone 2 in the hotel. And then Faust, seven games of the soul. In case you're wondering, we're at box seven now. Actual soccer, the new adventures of the time machine. Then Football Pro, which is a Sierra game, and I actually didn't know that Sierra made uh, soccer or sports games. Tunguska, which is a knockout series re-release. Win Audio, which looks horribly old school with this uh, tape recorder inside of a really old computer. And Open Heart Surgeon. And I must say, in real life, I have assisted at Open Heart Surgery, so I think I can play this game. More war game stuff. Eastern Front Mission Pack 1. Operation Operational Art of War. Zork Grand Inquisitor, which is actually, if you don't know, Zork was one of the first RPGs in, yeah, actually in the history of man, was one of the first RPGs. A mud, they actually called it, I believe. Uh, actual Ice Hockey, Kingdom at War, and this is Giga Sound Pack. And I'm not sure what it has, it's still sealed. It looks to be a Windows 95 thing. So this was one of those old sound packs that had a lot of sound bites, maybe partial songs, etc. Solitaire Deluxe. I actually can't think of any ways to pimp up Solitaire, which is really a basic game, but it's a big box and it's full of Solitaire. If you had this, you were the queen of housewives. Netstorm, Islands at War, Combat Mission, Respect Inc. NHL 99 and Hearts of Iron 1936-1948. Bar games by Accolade. Kind of reminds me of the Leisure Suit Larry games when you look at the back of the box because looks like you're playing bar games and picking up uh, women. And I'm not sure if you can read this, but what do you want to talk about? The stock market. Yeah, good choice, man. That'll probably get you laid. Sin Factor. Entrepreneur. Business is war. Then Quantum Gate, the saga begins, which is an interactive movie. And check out this low quality on this picture of the guy in the game. Probably really bad like most of the 90s FMV games. Then Daytona USA Deluxe, which is actually a Saturn game released on PC. I've never seen that before. And Worlds at War. This game up here is probably pretty rare because this is an unofficial add-on for both Civilization 2, SimCity and SimCity 2000. It's called Civilized City and it has over a thousand maps and usually these unofficial expansions like I said are really rare. Star War Starcraft has one, uh, Warcraft 2 has one and they're hard to find. Rising Lands still sealed, Dark Earth, Lands of Lore 2, Guardians of Destiny, Blood Magic, Dungeons and Dragons, and I actually bought this game two weeks ago for my collection, so now I have a spare copy, and Lynx 386 Pro, which is a golfing game. Dragon Lore 2, another copy, but this is a re-release copy. Imperium, and again, at the back of the box, check out how old school this looks. I just cannot get enough of this old school stuff. It's a disease. Codename Panzers Phase 1, Police Quest SWAT. Perfect Assassin, Blue Force by Jim Walls, no idea who he is, and Rainbow Six Rogue Spear Blackthorn, which is a standalone mission pack for Rogue Spear. So you don't need Rogue Spear. Time for a round of Sierra Originals, Lords of Magic, Lighthouse the Dark Being, Shivers, and King's Quest uh, 7, Princeless Bride, Lord Runner 2, and Snow Wave Avalanche. Gnome, which has a huge transformer-like car on the back. It's like a mech game, but then with normal cars or something like that. Clip Art Gallery. If you are old enough to use these kind of things, you know how cool you were if you had special clip art in your stuff for school. Not the clip art that everyone had, standard. Morpheus, this has to be at least the third box version I have. Jekyll and Hyde, which has horrible box art in my opinion, looks horrible. XS and Game Pack 10. Let's see if it has anything special or worth playing. Um, nope. Not really. At least not something that I know. What you see here is something really special. I had never seen this before, nor heard of it, and the guys that I asked had not seen this before either. This is some sort of prehistoric buzz. It's called Whiz Quiz. Check out 
the box. It has four big ass buttons and you can click them, connect them to your computer with all sorts of cables and wiring etc. It has a manual and the game of course, the game is in here. Let me show you. There you have it. And uh, yeah, so basically this is a really old kind of buzz. Really special, never seen this before. And these are uh, expansion sets. This is Animals in Blijdorp, which is a du Dutch uh, zoo. And this one is a uh, thousand questions about random stuff. Then we have Power Drome, also really old school. And Creature Shock. Mega Traveler won the Zordani uh, Conspiracy. Really old RPG and yeah, need I say more when you see that. Old, old, old. Love it. Fade to Black, Multimedia Sound Factory. Again, one of those sound compilations. Then something I do not know what it is. I, I of course know what Linux is, but Kit de Démarré, Marage, no clue. This is a French Linux set, heavy as hell and still sealed. Then we have Light and Darkness, The Prophecy and F-19 Stealth Fighter. Helicops, just grab your stick and play. That's quite a horrible title there. Eraser, Turnabout, Dark Rain, The Future of War, Nuclear Strike, The Unexplained, Ratcat Topography, The Spawn on the State Tocht, which is a game I actually played as a kid. It's like uh, geography in a playing style. Then Encarta 95, in my youth you were the man if you had this. Just playing with an encyclopedia, can you still imagine that? And this is Living Jigsaws, um, also really old 5 and a quarter inch floppies and it also looks really old as you can see from the box art. Oh sorry, let's get a bit down there, there you can see how old it looks. We're getting nearer and nearer to the end, so this is Battle Arena Toshin, and Earth 2150, Mission Force Cyberstorm with free um, CD inside, free extra CD. Yeah. No clue what that extra CD has. Microsoft Multimedia Mozart The Dissonant Quartet. I don't think this is a game. This is a probably like encyclopedia about Mozart and his music. Then there's Crime Cities and Broken Sword Shadow of the Templar, which is uh, Broken Sword 1, and it also has the demo of Broken Sword 2. Dossier Desiree, which is an interactive detective film. Then Redshift 2. Morpheus, like I said, multiple box versions out there, and this is the second one in this lot. Then Discover Astronomy from the makers of Redshift, Earth 2150, The Moon Project, and Mike Singleton's Lords of Midnight. It took me a while to figure out what this is until I read the bottom here. Um, this is a scenario for Microsoft Flight Simulator 5.1, 95 or 98. And I'm not really sure what a scenario is, but this probably adds uh, another um, airport or something. Then Mist 3 Exile, The Elk Moon Murder, Nuclear Strike, Arkritz the Indringer, The Intruder, Swiv 3D, and Ultimate Strategy Archives. And it comes with Railroad Tycoon Deluxe, XCOM, UFO, Defense, it's quite dirty as you can see. Max, uh, Dark Conflict, this is... can't read that. Let's bring it up closer. Caro, Heroes of Might and Magic, yeah. Um, Deluxe Edition Conquest of the New World, Jagged Alliance, Deadly Games, and Sid Meier's Civilization. So quite a lot of good games in there. And it's actually a really big box as well. As you can see it's the size of two big boxes. So that's a nice addition to anyone who collects uh, strategy games. Obsidian, a 3D adventure where the rules of nature don't apply. Never heard of that. Blackstone Chronicles, Requiem Avenging Angel, and then we have two sealed games. This one is Shadow of the Emperor Battle Isle 3 and Easy Language Learn Spanish. We've reached the last three boxes. Caesar 2, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption, Odyssey the Search of Elite. Uh, Odysseus, Atlantis 1 and 2, The Legend, and Stephen King's uh, F-13. This one is still sealed, but it's German, so that's a less positive point. Some space games. Space Marines, the star... what's that say? Stalin, the Kaiser, the Iron Emperor? Not sure, this is a 
German version. Star Wars Rebel Assault. Microcosm. And this is a really crappy font because it took me quite a while to figure out what this says, but it says X Tension. And this one is X Beyond the Frontier, and to the left you have Outcast. The next games are all sealed, which is an extra, but they're all in German, which is, like I said, not an extra. This is Battle Box. It's for Schweinepreise. Then G Police, Sp uh, Scorched Planet, Battle Drome, Space Quest 6, Roger Wilco. And here's another one, but this is the Power PC slash Mac version. Um, this is Galaxis Futura, Futura, again complete in German, which is a pity. And this one is Rendezvous im Weltraum, which is also known as Rama. Finally, finally, we've reached the end. This is the last box, and we have 12 more games to go. After this, you're free to do something with your day. So, action stations. <clears throat> Flying Fortress and this one is heavy so it has probably both formats of floppies It has four 3.5 inch floppies. No, then it just has a lot of paperwork This one is 1942 the Pacific Air War Nihilist let the killing begin and it has a soundtrack featuring doggy dog. How 90s is that? This is campaign tactical and strategy strategic war simulation and this last one is one of the rarest Star Trek games I believe uh, Star Trek Next Generation Birth of the Federation so off to the next last six Battle Cruiser 3000 AD Ishido the Way of Stones which is an Atari game I believe let's see if we can find that anywhere no it's actually by Accolade but I know it's on console I know it only from Atari games but might be on other consoles as well then this is Harpoon, Outpost 2, Divided Destiny, Gary Grigsby's Pacific War, another SSI combat simulation game, and this last one is Airbox, also an old flight simulator or flight economic flight game uh, on floppies. So that was it. Thanks for staying through the end. It was a long, long ride, but yeah, you've seen it. This was an incredible PC haul I did, and um, just getting this all... Um, on picture etc on photograph is going to take me a long long time uh, again thanks for watching be sure to check out my other videos like me on facebook join the channel etc etc see you next time bye bye